Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am excited because it's been a long, long time since I did one of these. Today I have a Goodwill outlet haul video for you. If you don't know what the Goodwill outlet is, it is a pay by the pound Goodwill. So I pay $1.29 a pound for um, everything I buy. I ended up with 115 pounds, 12 pounds right over 110 pounds um, yesterday when I went shopping and I spent $145 for everything you're about to see and you guys there is some wild stuff in here it is one of my best bin hauls ever 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 and um it's gonna be a while it's gonna be a long video so buckle up make sure that you are subscribed down below to get notifications of when we release new videos and give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying Ugh. enjoying enjoying in enjoying it enjoying it enjoying why can't i say that word all of a sudden anyway if you like this video give it a thumbs up hi hi okay so we're going to dive in and um i want to be really specific in this video i am buying items for three different places at this point so I am buying items to sell on Poshmark. I am buying items to send into Thread Up, and I'm buying items to put into my little store space, Selwood Union. Um, so today, while I'm going through everything, I'm actually going to be sorting it at the same time with you and making some piles to show you like what is going where. I think it will be pretty fun. I get asked a lot, like, how do you decide what goes where? Well, today we're going to dive a little bit into that. Um, okay first bag there's a lot you guys I'm not kidding when I say there's a lot and I was only there for two hours like it was wild um and I filmed inside so if you saw the video of me shopping yes or uh, the last video we put up would have been of me shopping uh you've actually got some inside footage it was my first time wearing a little GoPro inside the bins um but look for more of those videos so all right um first thing nothing too crazy this is just a mountain hardware women's lightweight top it is a white button down these are great for camping people really love these this has a vented back on it i will list this over on poshmark for right around twenty dollars next item we have here is a pair of hudson black flat pocket jeans these are just a nice what are you what are you they're size 28 who knows? Uh, what are you? They're, you're kind of like a flare on you. So um, I will get like solid color Hudson jeans like this. I will wash these and probably send these into thread up to see how they do. I've never actually sent a lot of jeans in there, but the seasons are changing. So I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to send as much into thread up today as I can because I actually have a lot of inventory. <sighs> it's all right. Um, okay. This is a loft and I did get a lot of career wear with the intention of sending it to thread up. Career wear does really well on thread up. Um, so yeah. Um, this is just an Ann Taylor Loft dress, but it is linen and it has some really great details. You see those kind of cutouts, lace on the side, absolutely gorgeous little shift dress. So I grabbed that. And my payout for things like that on thread up can vary. It's usually right around $20. Um, I sold a bunch of Talbots on there and everything was paying out between 15 to 20 for just even like basic t-shirts. So don't sleep on thread up. It's definitely a good viable option. It takes a little bit more time um, for your investment, but you know, when I'm buying things at the bins, it's not a big deal. This is a Janie and Jack which is a popular kids brand. Um, and these are just little overalls by them. I'm actually going to send these into thread up as well. I'll probably get about $10 out of it. This is a polo crew neck. It's a vintage polo crew neck. And I bought this to put into my shop space at Selwood Union. I'll price this around $18 and send it over there. I'm looking for like heavier, warmer things right now to send there. This is a, oh, okay. I need to sweater shave this. Not a big deal. I'll use my handy dandy sweater shaver. Um, if you guys are looking for a good one, I got a brand new one that was rechargeable for under $20 and I love it. I wish I had it right here with me. Um, I link it in my Amazon down below, but 
Uh, this is just a theory. This is a newer theory tag. Um, wool dress. And again, it needs to be sweater shaved, but that is easy to do. So I will go ahead and take care of that and list this over on Poshmark. Let's see here. My lighting is a little bright. There we go. <laughs> Um, I got this for my daughter, I think. So if she likes this, if not, I'll sell it. It is just an old navy, brand new with tags hat. Has like little dogs on it and it has the matching scarf. So she uses things like this in school. Um, and yeah, if she likes it, I will give it to her. And if not, I'll list it over on Poshmark for around $15 for the set. This is a nice down vest. Uh, I don't normally pick up this brand unless it's something like this. Hold on, let me zip it up to give you a better view. I'll also wash everything, so over the next couple days I'll wash it. Um, this is a Eddie Bauer Goose Down X Men's Extra Large Tall Vest. You guys, Extra Large Tall Goose Down Eddie Bauer Vest. I'll probably list this for around $40 on Poshmark. This is a great find and it's very lightweight because it's goose down. So um, I probably only paid about $2 for this. Next up, we have this really great bag. This is actually current Nike bag. Um, last time I went to the employee store, which was a couple months ago, they were they had this bag in stock. And this is just a Nike little tote bag. It does need to be cleaned on the inside. It's like kind of dirty but I can just clean it out. That's not a big deal at all. So I was really excited to find this bag. I actually almost bought it for myself a couple times. I keep eyeing it. So I might keep this as like a carry-all bag for myself, but if not, I will um, list it over on Poshmark. And then the last thing in this Ikea bag here is a dress. Oh, you guys. I hit the J. Crew mother load. Like so many good J. Crew pieces. Um, I can't wait until I find them to show you guys. But this is a J. Crew size four tall, and it is just a black classic career shift dress. Love, love, love these. Um, what is the fabric content here? Oh, so nice. This is the. 100% wool and you can see how well this is made so like the lining is actually sewn in as opposed to just being layered in like this is the J Crew that people love um, and I will send this into thread up okay let's do this big giant bag next <laughs> you guys can't see but um this is a pair of not your daughter's jeans and or uh, NYDJ not your daughter's jeans and these are just a straight leg high-waisted jean in a size six these are the alana leggings and honestly i should put these over on poshmark that's what i'm gonna do and i'll list these on poshmark and hopefully they sell pretty quick it is the season i did get a couple pair of them they were clearly from the same person these are the Marilyn straight jeans um not your daughter's jeans size eight and I've seen a lot of influencers do work with Not Your Daughter's Jeans lately. So hopefully that makes them a little bit more popular. And um, those will sell. Eights and tens are really popular sizes. So these are a size six and these are also the Maryland Straight. These are a really nice light wash from Not Your Daughter's Jeans. So we will list all of these over on Poshmark. Probably around $25 a piece is what they'll sell for. And now we have a few men's things. These were all in a pile kind of together. I'm going to assume pretty safely that they're from the same person. Look at all these cool prints, you guys. Okay, um, first is just this plaid Patagonia extra large organic cotton button down men's flannel. And I will list this on Poshmark for around $25. Um, because thread up does not take men's things. Remember that. This is another Patagonia extra large. It's like birds of paradise, uh, camp shirt. This again, around $25. So fun. Thank you, man who donated all these great shirts. Um, this is a brand called Deschutes. Um, and, but what it is, is it's Deschutes Brewery 
which is a local brewery, but very popular kind of craft brews. And so I bought this because beer people love these sort of things. So I went ahead and grabbed this and it's a nice floral camp shirt. And last but not least from, I believe the same person probably, is this. This was the first one I found and I was very excited. The Bonbons, Bonobos, sorry, Bonobos, Bonbons. Um, and this is just another like Toucan Bird print camp shirt. So cute, so fun. Um, these will definitely all sell in the $25 range. So those four shirts will probably get me about $100 in sales. And I only paid $145 for everything that you're gonna see today. So nothing beats the bins. This is a J Jill and it's just a nice little striped shirt. Um, and this is gonna go straight to thread up. This guy is brand new with tags and it's an Adidas energy running Climacool shirt. Brand new with tags. It was $50 originally. Focus. And I will list this over on Poshmark for probably $15 to $20. It's very, very lightweight. So that's great. A, another men's shirt. This is a men's extra, extra large. Love those big sizes. Nike Air striped shirt. And this will sell fast on Poshmark. The extra, extra, or extra large men's stuff, the newer Nike stuff, does incredibly well for me over there. Like, boom, gone. Um, This is just a Nike shirt. I don't know much about it, but it was very lightweight, so I went ahead and grabbed it. And it is just this. I don't know. Um, I can look up the code, but I'm going to send it and throw it up. This was cool. I need to do more research. I just grabbed it because it was so unique. It is a uh, tea and cake. And when I was looking, it was looking like, yeah, it's Top Shop. So it's like Top Shop. There we go. Tea and cake, whatever that is. Um, and it's just a crew neck. But look at that fringe. Hi, I couldn't leave you behind. And there is just like unicorn and star patches. And I'm going to list this on Poshmark. Not sure how much yet. I have to see how much they're selling for. Uh, okay, we're getting towards some of this nice J, uh, J. Crew stuff. This is a 1901, which is a Nordstrom house brand. And this is a white eyelet midi dress. And it's not summertime anymore. This is a perfect spring summer dress. So I'm not sure. I think I'm going to, I would normally send this into thread up, but I don't know. Why it's hard. I think I'm going to list this one on Poshmark for around $20, $25. These are So Slimming Pants by uh, Chico's Nice Knit Stretch. I mean, they feel like um, almost like a beta brand, like that same material, except they have an actual button and waistband on them. Um, I'll send these into Thread Up. They feel like they're brand new. We have a Columbia skirt with the built-in shorts, a uh, nice like hiking, camping gear. And I think I'm just gonna send these into Thread Up because I have so much stuff, I need to send as much as I can to Thread Up. So even if I only make $5 off of them, I only paid probably around 50 to 75 cents and I did no work. This is for my son. This is just a Nike sleeveless tank top for Des. I hit the jackpot with kid clothes too. I'll show you guys shortly. Um, this is Babette. This company went out of business, but it still has a following. People loved it. I don't know what happened. Not enough people loved it, clearly, because it went out of business, but I still pick it up when I find it. This is just a mesh layered shirt. There we go, Babette. And uh, the trick with Babette is that a lot of their clothes the tags are actually like in the side seam so if you feel something quality make sure you're checking that side seam i'm gonna list this on poshmark oh my poshmark pile is too big <laughs> okay 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 uh this is a lucy brand very very lightweight tank top i like the print it's very cute i don't know I know that the, I'll make more money on Poshmark, but it's like, I have so much stuff. I can't list everything on Poshmark. So I'm gonna send it to Thread Up. I'm going to send it to Thread Up. That's the best place for me right now. 
<laughs> These are Talbot's jeans. They're white, which isn't my favorite thing to buy, but I double, triple check them. They seem to be no stain. So these are off to thread up. Although I will say, I will say all the Talbot's jeans I sent in, I've only sold, I think one pair so far. So I don't know. Still testing the waters a little bit. Um, this is a Banana Republic beaded little uh, textured blouse. And this will go straight to thread up as well. And lots of pants. Okay, um, more Not Your Daughter's Jeans. And if some of these are in the same size, I might lock them. We'll see. Not Your Daughter's Jeans, Maryland Straight, size 6. So I think I have three pair of these. And again, straight over to Poshmark with those. These are a pair of Title IX pants. So these are Title IX stretch. They make athletic wear size eight, kind of wide leg pant, and I will list these on Poshmark. They need to be washed, but fine. Capable of washing things. A pair of women's mountain hardware shorts, um, but they're like Bermuda length. So I will list those over on Poshmark for around 20. <laughs> um, I love finding this brand love finding this brand it does well for me some people say they can't sell it I, I always tell this brand when i find it um it was one of my biggest sells ever when i first started and it was like a dress i found i still remember finding it and then right when i first left my job i think it sold for like 125 dollars, and that was like such a humongous deal for me then um it's still a big deal to flip things for that much but back then when you're not having a ton of sales and something sells for that much it like definitely paid my electricity bill so just saying like i this brand i don't know it's like meaningful to me for some reason but uh simply and this is just a cold shoulder kind of asymmetrical blouse um mystery i got this just to send to thread up it is so lightweight and it's really fun for fall so I am definitely search searching more for like stuff I can send straight to thread up like this. This probably cost me 25 cents. Even if I make $5, I will be more than happy because again, I'm not doing many, much work. More white jeans. What was I thinking? Um, <laughs> oh, Nicole, 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 Nicole. Um, these are, it's the dry clean tag. I love when something has a dry clean tag on it. Uh, not your daughter's jeans, more of them and a size six and again i'll sell these on poshmark i should send some to thread up and see how they do maybe i'll just send them to thread up there no i do know i'm going to list them on poshmark uh this is a blouse by rachel rachel roy and it's just a nice cool button down blouse and this will go straight to thread up a pair of shorts by can chan i don't know how can can i'm working on being able to pronounce things you guys I'm really working on it i think this is can can um and this brand is popular the jeans do pretty well these are just heavily distressed shorts i know the season has passed for these but i'll still list them around poshmark for 25 30 dollars this is a chico's knit sweater tank and this nice green metallic that will go straight to thread up. And this is a BCBG dress. Uh, again, straight to thread up. BCBG does pretty good over there. Um, and the retail value of these dresses is really high, like $300 or something. So you can really up your prices on thread up. Um, and it, I have seen friends sell their BCBG for $200 plus on thread up. So. I'll send this little number to thread up and hopefully it will sell. Um, we have a J Jill really perfect. I love this. It's a size 12 and this is like the quintessential fall skirt. Look at that fall plaid, you guys. Yes, yes. I am going to send this to thread up. I think it will sell quick. Whew. We have a pair of AG Stevie ankle zip jeans in gray. Love these guys. Sometimes they're sold at Anthropology, and you're a size 28, which is a great size. We'll list these over on Poshmark for probably 40 to $50. They retail for around 200 
in case you're new to that brand. We have a dress. Oh, we're getting into some of the good stuff. Um, another J. Jill. There we go. J or sorry, J. Crew. Tall. Look at this pleated dress. Oh, I love this stuff. If I was a woman who worked in a career field that needed dresses like this, I feel like I would have a whole different style and this would be it. Can you guys picture that? Maybe I'm lying. Maybe that's not true. Maybe that's not true. I don't know. In my head. In my head, sometimes I think about these things. Uh, we have another J. Jill point dress, or sorry, skirt. This is a size small. And straight to thread up with this one again. This is an Athleta knit dress. Oh, no, it's like a jersey dress. It's a size small. I love this dress though. The seaming makes it really fun. There's some zippers. Um, that Again, that contrast seam is super cool. And then there's also a pocket that zips. Oh no. Well, there is, I grabbed the wrong zipper. That's the, I'm, that's the side zip to get into the dress. There is these pockets on the front though, and they zip and I love a zipper pocket because things fall out of your pocket, like chapsticks. I always have a chapstick in my pocket and it falls out sometimes, especially when I'm at the bins, it just like bloop, out of my pocket. Very obnoxious. I don't know why I'm telling you guys that. That's my life. Um, I'm gonna list this on Poshmark. Love these pants. Uh, these are velvet pants from Melrose and Market, which is Nordstrom's. They are a velvet jogger. Hi, love these. Perfect cozy pant to work from home in. I'm wearing joggers right now and slippers. Da -da. In case you're wondering what I wear. Um, okay, so that is that stuff. Let's see here. You are a Bowden, just a Bowden print top. But cute, right? Like that's a cute little basic top. Oh, what am I gonna do with you? I need to take some basics to Selwood as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to Selwood Union and see how it does there. Okay, let's see what else I bought. Honestly, I end up buying so much stuff that I don't remember. It's like a whole other shopping trip when I go through it again. This is an Athleta, newer Athleta piece. Um, kind of tie-dye shirt. There we go. Short sleeves. Did I not even like check the sleeves? I just bought it. What's wrong with me? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to send this to thread up. Uh, this is an Oregon Duck, so college, which that's, you know. So this is a college Columbia jacket. It's really cool because it's reversible. So it is nice and warm. And here is this side, but then you can also flip it. And it's like a soft cozy on the other side. So nice, cool, reversible jacket. I'll list this over on Poshmark for probably $50. We love that. <laughs> okay, this uh, nice little fun bomber jacket. It's very lightweight, but it's a lightweight floral bomber. I'm going to put this over at Selwood Union. It's by West Key. The brand doesn't really matter. Um, for, trying to stop saying um every five seconds, 15 to $18. These are towel bits. Nah, these are career wear dress pants. Solid black, and we're going to set them to thread up all this career wear. So excited about it. Nike skirt with built in shorts. Mm, woman size small, polka dots, very fun, very modern. I would imagine this is a pretty recent one by looking at it. Let's see. This is from summer 18, so just a couple years old. I will list this on Poshmark. We have something, something, that's good, right? Uh, Carlisle, Carlisle is very expensive, hard for me to sell. This is the a newer Carlisle tag. It's kind of the one you want to be looking for. This is a knit jacket from them, just a single button blazer style. And again, this is going to thread up. Oh, I saw this and I looked at the brand. I couldn't find anything on it. I might do a little bit more research, but it's Hidden Lab, made in England. However, it's just a really cool jacket. 
And so I was actually with a friend who has a booth at Solid Union as well. And we both agreed to go and put this in Solid Union for around $25. I have a ton of swimsuits. That's the other thing. Um, let me grab them all out of here really fast. I need to pull this bag closer to me. Ooh, ooh, sorry, I moved you. Do, 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 do. Okay, like a lot of swimsuits. And I'm not gonna go through every one with you guys because that would take a very long time. So just piles and piles of different brands like Triangle, which is very expensive. Um, I buying swimsuits is one of my very favorite things to do with the bins because a swimsuit like this cost me about 50 cents and I can sell it this brand probably around 30 dollars for the set um there is no better ROI anywhere anywhere than this unless you get it for free but so I got a ton of different ones um and I will list these all over on Poshmark I don't know if I'm gonna list them now or put them and list them more in the spring we'll see I have a bunch that I photographed already, so I don't know, it's debatable. This one's really cute and it has the matching bottoms. Um, more triangle and another triangle floral. Did I get the top for this one? I got what I could. It's, you know, the swimsuits get like real crazy. I didn't look some of these up, but they were all in the same like bin area. So I just like threw them all into my basket. And even if there wasn't matching sets, I was like, whatever, I'll just get it. This has a bottom to it. This is really cute. What are you? <laughs> Boys plus arrows. I don't know what that is at all. <laughs> but yeah, lots of cute swimsuits. A lot of them. Oh, another boys and arrows swimsuit. I have to look a lot of this up. Um, vitamin A, whatever that is. Trina Turk, brand new with tags. These cuties, which I don't know what it is, but I have the set. There's probably, I would say 30 different pieces here. Revel Sky, made in sunny California. Little flouncy swimsuit. Anyway, a ton of swimsuits and I'll deal with those. I'll deal with those, but I would say at least $200, if not more, in swimsuit sales just for that little pile that cost me two or three dollars max. Okay, um, we have two pair of these. These are LNA leggings. This is an expensive athletic wear brand. And here we go. These are just gathered leggings. They're made in the USA. And I have two pair. I will lot these up and sell them together for sure over on Poshmark. This is a Hannah Anderson Christmas pajama. A lot of families use these pajamas in Christmas photos. Very popular with bloggers and influencers. So when you see the Christmas ones, especially grab them. I know my family, we actually use the same Hannah Anderson's every year, the elves and the Santa one. So um, yeah, grab these when you see them. They go in around this right season. That little guy will sell for 25 to $30. I see some shoes in here, but I think I'm going to wait and show you all the shoes at the same time. So see, I don't know why I just told you that. It was not necessary. I know. Sorry, the angle is very weird too. We're going to go for it. Okay, some more career wear. You know, guys, I'm so excited about this. You can already assume it's going to go to thread up. J. Crew. So we have a tweed um, with this eyelet mixed material dress. And then we have a pair of work pants from Talbot. Oh no, these are uh, Bermuda shorts from Talbot's. Thread up. Uh, J. Crew. Oh, you guys, I love these. I love these. And I wish I was the person who wore these. I'm just not. Um, they're also a size four. But look at these wide leg pleated cropped, kind of like gaucho pants. But love, obsessed with these from J. Crew. Wool. So perfect for fall. Okay. Um, <laughs> Susan Monaco. Monaco, am I saying that correctly? This is a designer, high end. How cute is this little dress or tunic? I don't know what, I don't know if you could just wear this as a dress. It's like a peplum tunic almost. 
with this really cool swoop back. I love a good back detail. I'm gonna send that in to throw it up. We have this Banana Republic. This is a little bit dated, but it still moves. It is a sweatshirt bomber jacket with the embellished front. When I first started reselling, this was like the rage. And I would have sold this for probably $30 to $40. Um, but it's not so much the rage anymore. I'll send it to thread up and hope to get 10 to 20 out of it. Um, my eyelashes are weird. Okay. We have more. Oh, one of my favorite things. Do, do, do. <laughs> this is another pair of really cool J. Crew pants. There's the tag, and they are a really wide leg pleated, full length pant, fully lined wool. Just, oh no, you're not lined. I lied. They're not lined. Um, fall of 2016, so in the last four years, that's all right. Anyway, thank you, person, for cleaning out your closet. You're gonna go to throw it up. We have a wool career wear dress from. J. Crew and navy blue with the pockets and the ribbon belt. I love the cap sleeves on these. We're gonna send this to thread up. This is a uh, Chico's size two, just a satin skirt. And that is a thread up piece as well. So much good thread up stuff. Um, the rest over here. This is a Talbot's pair of dress pants in a navy blue. And these still have the dry cleaning tag on them. Fantastic, right up. We have a skirt, I love this skirt. It is from um, Harlow & Graham, which is sold at places like Nordstrom Rack. It's nothing too fancy, but it's a midi length skirt. And look at the front pleat. The pleat on this is really cool. So it has one here and here and um, I can just already tell this is styled right. It's going to be a really great staple piece for someone. We have another J. Crew dress. This one is a fun summery polka dot dress. Let's put it up in the back here. This is so cute. This is a mid midi length or maybe max. No, yeah, like a midi length polka dot, and then the back has this fun keyhole. Very basic and great, size extra small. You're going to thread up. <laughs> a, oh, I'll show you those in a second. Banana Republic Murano wool. Um, ribbed little sweater top. Thread up. J. Crew. This needs to be cleaned, but that's fine. This is a linen striped sheath dress. It's kind of like a Finsler dress. It has a big pleat in the front. But again, we love linen. We love J. Crew career pieces. This is a size too tall. We love all these tall pieces. So fantastic. Then we have another Banana Republic piece. And this one's just another summery dress. Yep. Oh, that's my dog. My husband is home. Uh, Banana Republic striped tie back dress. We'll send that to thread up. We have a Banana Republic white blouse with some embroidery on it on the bottom. Go and again thread up for all of these Banana Republic, J. Crew, all of that straight to thread up. Lightweight. I mean, all those things are just so lightweight. I'll weigh the boxes. I wish I had the weights already to tell you guys, but it's not going to be much. Okay, this needs to be washed. Um, this is another J. Crew piece, but it is so pretty. If this fit me, I would wear it. It's a black eyelet dress, and it's a midi length. So pretty. I will send this into Thread Up. All those J. Crew pieces would also sell on Poshmark. I just have a lot of stuff right now, <laughs> so I need to get it out. I need to get it out. It's okay. I need to just let go. We have a Tommy Bahama. I got this because it's very lightweight and it's silk. And I thought, you know, I'm gonna send this to Thread Up and see how it does. We'll, we'll give it a little test run. Cost me 25 cents, guys. This is um, a skirt, I believe, from J. Crew. Yes. 
J. Crew size zero. Black mid, or no, this is a maxi skirt. Black maxi skirt with the tie waist on it. Right up. We have, oh, this is such a classic J. Crew dress. This is a very classic J. Crew career style dress. Look at the sleeves. Look at this like cool sleeve, sheath, pockets, wool, everything you want from a career wear dress right here. Um, we have a, oh, this is Hinge, which is just a Nordstrom, sold at Nordstrom's. Um, but I got this because it's lamb's leather. So it's a fully lined, well, it's not fully lined. The front isn't lined. The back is lined. Lambskin, I believe. No. It's just regular leather. I'm not excited. <laughs> um, so anyway, it's a hinged leather jacket and I couldn't pass on like a modern leather jacket. That will go to thread up. It's actually pretty lightweight too, which is great. Um, uh, one of the last J. Crew pieces that I see right now is this. There is only one that I could find listed on Poshmark for $250. I am going to actually list this myself. It needs to be cleaned, so I'll probably have it dry cleaned. Uh, this is a J. Crew Lady Day coat in a tweed, black tweed with this like kind of raw pocket. And, ugh, you guys, this coat is everything. These coats do so well. So yeah, I will get this cleaned and then list it on Poshmark for right around $200, which <laughs> that's crazy. Um, these were fun and I wish they fit me, but they're a size 27, so they probably won't. These are a seven for all mankind. And it's just like a jumpsuit romper, but it's all denim with these big wide crop legs and it has a belt attached to it. I'll try and show it to you guys better with this really nice neckline and it's a newer cut. So there we go. I'm definitely going to be listing this over on Poshmark very, very quickly. This will sell incredibly fast. And when I saw it in the bin, it had been out for a long time. All of this stuff, I did not go to, besides first open when I got there, all of this stuff was in bins for a while. I was not the first one to get to that bin, right? So I don't know how people miss this or why they wouldn't grab this. It's such a fantastic piece. Well, people were searching for different things yesterday, I guess. Okay, we're to the shoes. I'm gonna have to dig, dig deep here, but get some shoes. So uh, the shoes were out when I got there. That was the first thing I went to. And I did find a lot of great shoes to start with, which I'll show you the ones I found. I don't know. Um, first and foremost are these pair of Sorrells. These sell really quickly for me anywhere I list them. Um, I put a couple pair in Solid Union recently. They sold for $75 a piece. I'll probably list these on Poshmark. Super popular Sorrell style. And they are a size eight. So these I'll list for like 125 on Poshmark. A, these are, a pair of Lucky Brand boots, just a basic Lucky Brand boot, but they're in really good shape and they sell. So pick these up. I think they are actual leather too. These are nice ones. There we go, Lucky Brand booty. And we have, I got these that open, ha, oh, so cute. These are mini Melissa's and they're just the uh, Disney Minnie Mouse ones. Um, so lightweight. These retail for like 50 to $60. They have a good following. I'll sell these for 25 to 30. I used to sell those when Delilah was little. My daughter, she used to like exclusively wear mini Melissa's. She had tons of pair. And what I would do is I would buy them used and then I would list them uh, when I was done in the Facebook groups, like the mini Melissa Facebook groups. They would sell so fast. And sometimes I would sell them for more than I paid for them. That was kind of the beginning of my reselling for myself career. Um, but yeah, I just wanted her to have cute shoes and I couldn't afford them. So I would figure it out. <laughs> okay. Um, these I got it open. These are a pair of Sorrells. Classic little size sevens. Oh, I can put them here. We got these that open. I need to clean them, which isn't my favorite thing, but um, these are nice. These are Koi. So it's the Koi collaboration 
with Sunita clogs. Make sure you do the test and bend them. Make sure that they're not going to break. But those are fun. Last pair um, I had of this collaboration sold incredibly fast. So it looks like Poshmark. And we have a couple more pair of shoes. Huh, I have the craziest shoe story actually. So um, we have these boots. These are just Primigis. And these are really nice Italian children's um, boots in a size 35. They might fit my daughter. I'm going to see if they do because, oh, this isn't her style. I'm gonna sell these. These are going for sale. Then we have these cuties, which need a little bit of leather cleaner on the toes, but that's easy to do. There's some scuffing. This is a pair of, um, how do you say this? Fidig? I'm saying it wrong. I'm so sorry. Um, F I D J I. There's kind of you can see it on the sole better. And these are a high-end brand of shoe. Sometimes they're sold at Anthropology. They're really fun and funky. So these heels are cool. Probably the these around forty dollars. And then there is another pair of the same brand. And a size 41 which is like an 11 and these are super cool too so around the same price for these little boots really good fall shoe right here i have two more pair of shoes to show you guys try not to freak out <laughs> okay so about an hour after i got to the outlet i went back over to the shoe section because when I first got there, everyone was kind of there and you can only have one person per bin. There's a lot of rules because of COVID. So I went back over because some of the shoe bins were open and I noticed right on top. I literally saw these laying right on top of a big pile of shoes and I spotted the quality. Uh, I was shocked when I saw what these were. They're John Fluvog. You see that? John Fluvog sandals hi hello i've only found one other pair of flu vlogs in all of my days thrifting and they were not great ones um but these should do really well i'll probably list these around 200 dollars on poshmark they're in great condition there's no flaws they're size 10 they're absolutely stunning i'm so excited like i literally was sh shook when i found those but not as shook in the same bin in the same bin. I left that bin. So there was a big pile of shoes. I kind of looked through it and didn't see much. I went down to the end and I searched through another 20 minutes must have passed. And I got back down to that end and I was like, I'm gonna look one more time through this bin. The best bins find maybe ever for me showed up. Do you see this beauty? Do you see her? This, my, my friends, is a Tom Ford, Tom Ford, oh my god, what, the last pair of these sold used for $400 on Poshmark, so, unfortunately, and I'm pretty sure it's from being in the bin, two pieces of the patent leather got kind of scuffed up right here, so, and I'm 99% sure it's from being in the bin because these shoes are in amazing condition. I'm going to take these to a cobbler. I've never done it before, but for these beauties, for these oh, amazing like this. Look at that heel. Look at her. These amazing, beautiful Tom Ford. It's, I am going to take them to a cobbler, have them cleaned up, have them, you know, professionally looking sharp. And then I'm going to list them. When I got these, I started thinking about the woman who owned these and like what she was like. I went out to lunch with my friend afterwards and we started to be high. We came up with a whole explanation for this woman. She was definitely a powerhouse. She definitely like made her own money. She was doing her thing. She was amazing. Just like these shoes. So anyway, I'm obsessed with that find because it really is something special. I need some water. I'm sorry. So, okay, Shelby, onward and upward. Let's talk about the other things that I've found. Um, a lot of stuff in this next bag, I believe, is for Salvage Union. So that's good. Okay, 
This is just an intimately free people tunic. I've sold this tunic so many times. It's a very popular style. I forget the exact name of it, but um, this always sells for right around $20. I'll list that on Poshmark. We have a pair of men's Lululemon pants. I believe these are men's. Pretty sure these are men's. Let me see if I see a size tag. Oh yeah, extra large. My husband might want these actually. These are a pair of men's Lululemon pants. They're just like a nice stretchy knit. I knew that they were um, Lululemon when I saw those three lines. That is a size, or no, that's just an indicator that's Lululemon men's, I believe. There's something to do with that. On some of them, it's like a size indicator, but not for these. Anyway, they need to be washed, but that's not a big deal. And they're in great shape. So I will either give these to my husband or I will be selling those on Poshmark. This is a nice North Face seam filled rain jacket. Why? It was still folded up, like still folded up from when it was donated. There we go. Absolutely gorgeous jacket. Um, and it is not peeling at all a lot of times with these jackets. Oh, it is right here. I didn't see it until I had to light up to it. There's a couple spots where the liner is coming loose. So I'll note that and I will be listing this over on Poshmark. I'll probably sell for $30, $40. Okay, a cashmere sweater. <laughs> love cashmere. Love it, love it, love it, love it. This is just a Nordstrom sweater. Um, poncho. That's what this is. This is a uh, cashmere poncho from Nordstrom's. Halogen one size. It's just so soft. Like I would totally rock this. Let's see. Oh, it's so cozy you guys. It's like wearing a blanket. Yes. Okay. So anyway, this is really pretty and soft and cozy. I think I'm going to take this to Solid Union. Oh, got stuck on me. Anyway, I'm gonna take that to sell you. We have a Kohan men's wool hat. I don't do a ton of hats, but this was a really nice one. And oh, it's not wool, it's cashmere. 100% cashmere. So that's a win. We'll list that on Poshmark for 25 bucks. I'm a big fan of that $25 number right now. This is a North Face, um, and this was right next to that white one in the bin. This is a size small. Just a nice little fleecy jacket, nice and fuzzy and cozy. We'll list that for uh, probably 30 or 40. Oh, let me grab another big stack and put it in my lap, that's easier. <laughs> okay. This is just a, um, what is this called? A, it's like a cover up sort of thing. There's a name for this, I can't remember. It's called Gypsy Love. The brand is not important by any means. I just thought this was a pretty, um, oh my, kimono. Kimono style cover up in this really nice floral, good fall colors. I'm gonna send this guy into thread up. We have a pair of Nike men's, there's an older tag. They're a size 40 shorts, but again, bigger Nike men's stuff always does really well for me. So off to Poshmark that goes. We have a Stussy. Hi, the classic Stussy crew neck. It's a little bit faded from washwear, but that's fine. I will go ahead and throw this over in Solid Union for twenty to thirty dollars. Oh, this was such a good find. <laughs> and this is why I always say like quality is more important than brands because if you can spot quality, you can do good. So I didn't know what these were. I picked these up. Check it out. I picked these up and I was like, this is a nice pair of pants. This is a nice outdoor pair of pants. I looked for the tag, I didn't see one. I looked at that and I was like, what is this? What is this? What is this? And I started looking and the tag was down lower. It's really rare for me to find this brand and when I do, it sells extremely fast. Hi, hello, Philson. <gasps> If you guys don't know about this brand, look it up. They do outdoor wear. They're based in Seattle. They have a cult-like following. Their jackets, some of them, the vintage ones, go for crazy money. These are convertible pants, and I cannot wait to list them on Poshmark because they will sell quick. I don't have to look up. I don't know what I'm gonna sell them at. Probably around $50 so is what I would guess. This is a Steely Dan concert shirt. Um, 
I got this because like concert tees do really well at Solid Union. Not my normal thing, but here it is. So this is Steely Dan, Summer Tour of 96. It's got like a cool graphic and then like the dates on the back. It's perfectly worn. And I think I'll probably be able to get like 25, 30 bucks at Solid Union for that. This is a Nike camo jacket, a size large. My husband would want this if it fit him. I don't know if he'll fit into this. This is a Nike Tech men's camo full zip hoodie. We'll list this over on Poshmark for 40 bucks. We have um, more men's Nike. These are just sweat shorts. We'll list these for 20 on Poshmark. We have some Talbots <laughs> dress pants. You guys know where these are going. These are going straight to thread up. We have a J Crew, the last J Crew piece, I think. <laughs> and it is also going to start out. Let me show you buttoning it really fast, but it's a size too tall. And it is a jumpsuit. Look at that. How fun is this cool jumpsuit? Love it. So, last little Nike piece. Such a good little closet that I found. So, all of that will go straight to thread up. Okay, the last lot here is all of these Levi's. So Levi, like old Levi's sell really well at Solid Union. These are all bigger waists. <sighs> Smaller waists sell better, whatever. There, I hate that mentality that like, oh, so many people like won't pick up the bigger sizes because they don't sell as well as the smaller sizes. But and then someone was like, well, it's like mostly smaller people who are shopping at Solid Union. And I'm like, yeah, because you guys aren't stocking big sizes. So, <laughs> my booth will stock the big size Levi's for girls like me. Um, anyway, so these are all vintage Levi's and they're all like perfectly distressed, great jeans. Let's see. Oh, look at these, you guys. Levi 501s. Oh my gosh, so, 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 so good. I'll put 30 bucks a pair on these um, and they will sell. They're not the main the USA ones, unfortunately, but that's fine. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pair. We'll list these at 30 bucks a piece over there. That's a couple hundred dollars. So excited for these. The last section of this haul is actually kind of funny. Um, this weekend we went through my daughter's clothes and emptied out her closet. She grew into a size 10 and I found a whole bin basically full of her size clothes and high-end kid brand. So really excited about them. This one isn't part of that but it is in this bin. So this is a Carrots which is a riding like horse riding brand. This stuff does really well and these are size, uh, these are girls, size 12 or large, sorry, riding pants. Um, I will list these over on Poshmark and they should sell for $20 or so. But this whole bin, I have a huge bin full of kid clothes, obviously all from the same person. All of it was like still folded up. I just was like grabbing the stacks. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna go through it and show you. So this is a Bowden sweatshirt. How fun is this? My daughter's gonna get first dibs on all of this. And whatever she doesn't take, I will probably just send in to thread up because I don't want to deal with it because I have so much stuff. Um, so this is a Bowdoin sweatshirt. Maybe I'll sell some of it on Poshmark. I don't know. It's debatable. Let me try and organize this a little bit. So anyway, I was really excited. Uh, this is a tea collection. These will not fit her. They are child size five. So they're a little boy size five. I will send those into thread up. And then let's see here. I'm gonna try and make it so it's easier to show you guys. Um, but yeah, I haven't been to the bins in so long. And I'm really, really grateful that I went because A, it was fun. I forget how fun I have. Like it's like refreshing to go over to the bins, right? Like I haven't been in so long and it's just nice to kind of put your head down for a couple hours and shop and find all these goodies, save them from the landfills really just like my favorite thing to do okay you guys I'm not gonna sort through all this but you'll get the point 
Um, all right, remember those little Hannah Anderson PJs that I showed you guys? Okay, well here is the big kid version of them for Christmas. Um, oh, did I get two? Did I make up bottoms? I just got the tops, that's a bummer. I got a whole bunch of pajamas, but well, I got two tops possibly, no bottoms. That's me in a nutshell, okay. Trying to get all the pants and organize it. Should have done this before I started. But I didn't. Okay. Some boy stuff. <laughs> All right. So we have some shorts that are just from Cat and Jack, which isn't exciting, but they're kind of longer denim shorts. These are definitely the things that my daughter needs, especially for school. So I got two pair of these for her. I got these really cool Gap Denim Girls um, sequined knee pants with the raw hem. How fun are these? She's gonna love, love, love these if they fit her. Um, so I'm excited to show her those. And then I did get three pair of Gap Denim jogger pants. These are literally perfect for school. So perfect for school. So these are a medium jogger and they're pretty current. When were these released? Spring of 2019. So yeah, love that. So I got three pair of these, perfect for school for her. She definitely needs more pants. And then I have these, oh, one more Cat and Jack pair of little shorts. We have some athletic wear stuff. This is Athleta girl size 12 camo print pants she may not want these but we were just in athleta and she bought some athletic wear there so we'll see a pair of zella size 10 just black leggings that's a nordstrom athletic wear brand she won't want this i will send this to throw it up this is a hannah anderson girls dress but i couldn't leave it behind because it's like perfect condition so off to throw it up with that Pretty sure these are Lululemon Ivea based on the pull tag, but I have to figure these out. Um, so these are just nice little athletic wear leggings in her size. These are all the shirts. And... Okay, so the shirts are kind of crazy because half of them are like new with tags. Well, I'm going to show you the PJs next. So these are all Hannah Anderson PJs and they are in her size. She doesn't usually like to wear PJs, but sometimes she does need to wear them. So um, there we go. So this is just like a strawberry. These are shorts pajamas. And then we have the heart or the rainbow pajamas. How cute are those? We have the banana pajamas. So three pair of shorts. If she doesn't want those, I will probably lot those up on Poshmark and I'll sell the set for like $50 for all three of them. And then we have a dress as well. So this is just a nightgown um, from them. Just a nightgown fleece dress. Then I showed you these two. <laughs> They're just tops, or no bottoms. Okay, Nicole, okay. And then this she might really want because it is Wonder Woman. Um, so the bottom and then the top. How fun are these? She might want these. We'll see. Okay. And then as far as clothes go, shirts, there was a ton of tea collection, which makes some of the cutest stuff very good. Um, and usually they're like organic cotton. So just a lot of teas. So there's that one. There is this one with like a little elephant that she's going to love. And there is this tea. Is this tea? Yeah, this is tea. And it's just high in all different languages. We love that. This tea collection shirt. Just like a guitar. And we have this one, which is a long sleeve and it has cats on it. These are all size 12, so they may or may not fit her. We'll see. T can run a little bit on the small side. And all these shirts are like $30 brand new. So, okay, I'll take them. There's another T collection with a little elephant. 
a tea collection with a pineapple wearing sunglasses. A skateboard tank. She'll definitely want this. Because she loves her brother. <laughs> and her brother likes the skateboard. This one has flowers on it and hummingbirds. And then we have these two. I guess there's only two that are new. Um, this is a cold shoulder kind of polka dotted shirt that's brand new with tags. And then this little bunny one is also brand new with tags. How cute is this? So we love that. Uh, there's also some random ones I grabbed from her. I put back a lot of like the non tea collection ones, the like random shirts they had in there, but I did get this cause she'll like it. It's Justice and it has a sequined watermelon on it. This is a athletic, athletic girl top. It matches those camo leggings, long sleeve. A Tucker and Tate, which is sold at Nordstrom's. It's new without tags. It's just a peplum shirt. Um, another pair of the Zella black leggings. We have a T, or no, this is Peak. Peak, which is um, very popular. Some of their shirts are worth a lot. Um, and this is just kind of like a spirit jersey style shirt. Then there was some boy stuff in here as well, which I grabbed for Dez to see if it will fit him. <laughs> so there is these Nike sweatpants. They have a little hole in the knee, like a tiny one, but I don't care because he'll wear them around the house and he destroys all of his Nike sweatpants anyway. So he can destroy those. It won't matter. Um, and then we have a couple pair of shorts and another pair of cozy pants. These are just Gap Kid cozy pants. Are these girls or boys? I don't know. My kids also wear like the same size now, so their clothes totally get mixed up. Um, and then two pair of T Collection cozy shorts, which my son will absolutely love. This bear shirt from um, Columbia. And then two boys T Collection long sleeve shirts. So this one has like orcas on it. And this one does will probably want, has a skateboard, like a dragon on it. So. The, t the kid stuff was nuts. Like I never find um, a ton of kid like high end stuff like that. I guess I have in the past, but um, in my kid sizes when they actually need it. So I felt really, really lucky. And anyway, that is my story. That's my whole bin saw. That's why I spent $145 on all of that stuff, you guys. It's a great day, a great haul. I'm so thankful. I can't wait to get this all sorted, sending tons of it to thread up, listing tons of it on Poshmark, and that's it. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed this video, I said enjoyed right this time, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more videos like this where I help you learn how to sell on Poshmark. Okay, goodbye.